Hey, it's Michelle, your CXC Biology Tutor here again. Welcome back to the Know the Differences series in which I go through with you important terms that you need to understand. In this video, I'll be looking at getting rid of waste. And we're going to be focusing on these two processes, which some people tend to get mixed up, excretion and ingestion. So you really need to know the differences between these two processes, which both remove different types of waste from the body. All right, let's look at the first one, excretion. Now, excretion is concerned with the removal of metabolic waste from the body. So key points to remember is that the wastes are produced from metabolic reactions. So you may be asking, what exactly are metabolic reactions? So these are any chemical reactions taking place within our cells. So think of like respiration, photosynthesis in plants. So these metabolic reactions, they produce useful products, but they also produce waste products as well. And the waste products need to be removed in order to prevent buildup of these toxic products that can actually be harmful to the body. So the key organs that you need to remember, the excretory organs include the lungs, the kidneys, and the skin. So we're going to look at those in a little greater detail here. So first of all, the lungs. The lungs are responsible for excreting expired air. So this is air that we breathe out. And this air would contain carbon dioxide and water vapor, which would have been produced from the process of respiration in our cells. So we need to especially remove that buildup of carbon dioxide. We don't want carbon dioxide building up in the body. So when we breathe out, we're trying to excrete that carbon dioxide. Now the second organ, the kidneys, they're responsible for excreting urine. So urine is that liquid that is removed from the body and it contains water salts and urea so those are the main substances that you would find in the urine now the skin is the last excretory organ and that that excretes the heat and the sweat so it's responsible for temperature regulation so you're getting rid of that excess heat that builds up in the body and then in terms of the liquid that is produced which is the sweat that contains water, salts, and urea. So you can see these substances are pretty similar to the content of the urine, but they'll be in different proportions. So the lungs, the kidneys, and the skin, those are the excretory organs that you need to know, and you need to know their products. Now let's move on to look at ingestion. Now ingestion is the removal of undigested waste from the body. So the key points to remember is that this undigested waste will be coming mostly from the fiber-rich foods that we eat. So from fruits and vegetables, when we eat our oats. So these foods are rich in fiber, meaning that it contains a lot of cellulose, that material that comes from plants. So cellulose cannot be digested. We don't have the enzymes to break down cellulose, like how cows do when they eat grass. So how it happens is, what happens is that the fiber is going to pass through the digestive tract without any changes occurring to it. So there's no digestion by enzymes as I just said. So pretty much this waste is going to be removed from the colon as feces, which is commonly referred to as stool. So that is what ingestion is all about. So removing that undigested food material from the colon out of the body as feces. Alright, so now you should know the differences between excretion and ingestion. 